Next operator is add to set. This operator performs same operation as push, but first it checks whether new element exists already in the array or not. If it exists, this new element will not be added. Syntax is same, just add to set and then object with key value pairs, where key is a array field name and value is a value of the new element. Let's look at an examples. In the first example, we add item 1 to the card array, but again we first check whether this item 1 already exists in card array or not. If it doesn't exist, then we add it as a new element. With add to set, same as with push operator, you can use each modifier operator. This operator allows you to add several elements to the array. But first we will check whether those elements exist in the array or not. And of course, if array is absent and you will try to add to set elements to non-existing array, this array will be created by MongoDB automatically. Let's go to the MongoDB shell. And let's perform operations with the same document with card ID 561. Currently it has several items in the card and you see that item 2 is duplicate item. Let's go to update tab. Query will remain the same, card ID 561 and instead of push we will use add to set. And let's try to add to set item 1. You see that item 1 is already on the list. Ok, let's perform this operation. Command enter. Meshed count 1, modified count 0. It means that no documents were modified. Let's go back to find, execute find query and you see that card remains same. Let's try to add item 2. Remember that item 2 already exists and there are two duplicate items. Ok, let's go back to update and perform update operation. Again, same result. Modified count 0. Let's go back to find, execute query and you see that item 2 was not added. But duplicate was not deleted. It means that if duplicate entries already existed in the array before add to set operation, array will not be modified. So duplicate entries will not be deleted. Ok, let's now delete whole card array and add several items just using add to set. So first unset card 1 and execute it. Go back to find, now card array is absent here. Ok, let's perform add to set, add to set, card and item 1, execute it. So now item 1 is on the list and card was created automatically. Let's now try to add same item 1, execute. Modified count 0, so no modification were made, because this item already exists on the list. Ok, let's now add item 2 and item 3 using each modifier operator. So just curly braces, then each operator that needs an array, array of item 2 and item 3. Here we go, command enter. No modification was made, let's go back to find, execute this and here we see item 2 and item 3 on the list. Let's go back to update and try to add 3 and 4. 3 is already on the list, so just item 4 should be added. Let's execute this, command enter. And here is the result, just item 4 was added. Item 3 was omitted because it is duplicate. So let's go back to update. And what will happen if I will just delete this each operator? So just like this. And let's change item 3 and item 4 to item 5 and item 6. And let's execute this. So what do we see in the result? In the result you will see that item 5 and item 6 were added as an array, as new element. 
Of course, this behavior is not desired and you should always use each modifier operator if you want to add several elements to set. You may ask me, how can we delete this element that was added to array by mistake? This can be easily performed using pop operator. And let's talk about this next. Bye.